Good morning everyone and welcome to another Tuesday morning. Welcome to our morning inspiration. It is February 13th, 2024 and it's a good day to be alive. And as we go through the reading today, and as we go through the reading this morning, I pray that you will be encouraged and I pray that you will find something in the reading that speaks to you. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 18, reading verses 21 to 35. This is what it says. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not paid, his lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of the servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all the I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desired me. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pitied on thee? And his Lord was wrought, and delivered him unto the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. 35 and last says, So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one of his brother their trespasses. Amen. This is a very profound reading this morning. Reading about forgiveness and showing compassion to others. When we think about this story, a lot of us can identify with it in one way or another. Am I correct? Sure, I know this is something that we can, we can speak to. You know, this servant, you know, when I think about his attitude and how he went about doing what he did. I'm like, he had some nerve. I mean, he owed 10,000 and then he's going to beat up someone and harass someone for 100 pence. What is going through his mind? I don't know. It is so puzzling to me. I know this is a parable, but this is a reality of our lives. These are the things that we do a lot of times. And I don't know why we allow ourselves to be used by the enemy like that. But this servant did something that I just found strange. After he was absolved or forgiven of this debt, he went to some, this person that owed him and asked for the, the payment. The person wasn't able to pay him back at the time. And he wasn't willing to give the person an extension. And he threw the person behind bars until they are able to pay the debt. But my concern with that is how are they going to pay the debt if they are behind bars? Shouldn't you leave them free so that they can go and work or find the money? to pay you back so i couldn't understand the logics of that but this is all irrational sin makes us we don't think about our action sometimes and the implication that it can have and i'm like come on that makes no sense at all but he was just so upset that he wasn't thinking about any rationality he just wanted his money and he wanted his money now that's all he could think of how many of us is like that i know that when people hurt us 
especially people that we care about or we believe care about us and love us when they hurt us i know it cut deep like a knife much more than even when a stranger does it so i am not slighting your feelings and your emotion but what i'm saying is that if we don't learn to have compassion on each other how is it that we expect others to have compassion on us more so how do we expect god to forgive us when we can't forgive others you know when peter asked the question about how many times he should forgive if he should forgive seven times and jesus responded by saying you need to double and triple and flip that 70 times seven so in other words as often as the person offend you as often as the person do you wrong you need to forgive the person just as often and i know a lot of you might be saying but that can't be right because if i forgive the person one time and the person go back and do it again and then I do it a third time and a fourth time and a fifth time and keep going what's the point of forgiving them anymore but i say to you that forgiveness doesn't mean that you will let the person back into your safe space when you forgive someone you are releasing the person from your wrath that's one way you can look at it or you are absolving them in a sense of the wrong that they did to you so you are showing them grace and favor and mercy even though you don't believe that they deserve it so you set the person free from that guilt so it's not so much about how many times they did wrong still forgive them and forgiveness also helps you the forgiver so it doesn't only help or the forgivee or the person who you forgive but it also helps you because when you forgive the person you lift that weight off your shoulder and you don't have to walk around with this boulder on your back oh this person to me this and this person to me that and you know stressing out yourself for no reason at all that's what it means and i have heard so many times you know person saying that you know they can't forgive a person more than one time if you hurt me one time that's it i can't forgive or come on that's that's an unrealistic thing because i'm saying that yes the person did you wrong but you forgiving the person i don't see how that is such a difficult thing for you to do yes human nature would want us to not forgive and i have heard it said over and over and over yes it is easier said than done but sometimes we need to get out of the that frame of mind jesus in me and in you is enough to help us to forgive someone so we don't have to hold to this idea that it is too hard or it's easier said than done come on the lord is ready to run to our rescue to give us power to overcome these things so yes it might seem hard but only because i am making it hard i am the one that is making it hard think about how dangerous that is if you keep holding on to that earth and choose not to forgive and then you lose your life tomorrow and you don't get a chance to to forgive the person where you think you're going you still believe that you will make it to heaven something to think about yes we live in a realistic world where things are not always hunky dory but we have a principle guiding us that is far nobler and far exceeding out of the knowledge of this world and that is the the, the commandments of god and the principles of god so that should be our guide so whatever it is that someone did to you i advise you to just forgive the person and get on with your life don't become a don't be a prisoner set yourself free set the person free amen and also let us be patient with each other okay so just like the person was asking for some time to pay the money that he hold we need to give people time also if they owe us money and they are not able to pay us back when we need it go about it in wisdom so be kind about it so if the person if you need the money just explain to the person and if they are not able to give it to you when you need it just figure out something with them wherewith they can pay you back as an example okay so all i am saying to us is this let us learn to be compassionate let us learn to forgive and treat each other the way that we want to be treated because how we treat others we ourselves will be treated that way just like the gentleman in the story 
he was very unkind to the person and so because he was unkind he was in turn thrown in prison until he could pay his debt so he was treated the same way he treated the person and so remember that so god is able to help us friends same god who forgive you of your sins and forgive me of my sin will help you and I to forgive others when they have wronged us and also to be patient with them and to be compassionate towards them. So be encouraged, continue to trust God, continue to be faithful and we will make a difference in the world that we are living in. Amen.